go. You know, my favorite part of that is how proud he is of that giant bat hanging above his head. <laughs> it is a really nice bat. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Okay, since we were gone so long, there's a lot to go through, so I'm just going to blast through. Uh, I talked about the uh, 112 Spider-Man, and actually in one of the pictures, they pictured this Green Goblin, but not being 100% up on the 112 line, I wasn't sure if he was new or old. And apparently he was new. So this is the 112 Green Goblin Deluxe. Uh, he's a little cheaper than Spidey's 112. And we'll just go through these kind of quick. Um, didn't do the thing where I compared all the covers to the shots that were taken. But he's cool too. Uh, comes with lots of accessories. Heads. Swap out heads. Uh, I don't know what. The, I can't rem I sort of half remember this from the comics, but I don't. Some kind of sort of ghost bombs that uh, Green Goblin had at one point in frogs, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> cool. That's a, that's awesome. Yeah. Right. Again, that's that's the Spider-Man that we talked about a few weeks ago. Uh, and there he is again. Uh, we got to make you want both. That's for sure. Right. Yeah. The glider with the mask. Shot with the pumpkin bomb. Upshot. Uh, Spider-Man cowering, standing tall over Green Goblin in a sinister that's... shot of the face. That, nice. that, that might be Amazing Spider-Man 40 homage. Let me pull that up real quick. This oh, one? Yeah. Could I be. I have that book. I'll pull it up. Continue. Uh -huh. And there's, there's some shots of all the stuff that you get with them, the different heads and hands and the base. These are must-haves for anybody that's into dioramas, right? Yeah, I mean, it, it would certainly be cool to, yeah. to have them both and set up a scene. Yeah. <clears throat> and one more of his glider there. Uh, the main the main thrust of... Oh, yeah, there you go. There it is. Up. Yep, nice. Yeah, so they, they, they knew... These Maybe guys probably. did their homework, you know? <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if a few more of those shots were, you know, directly lifted, too, so... <laughs> Um, but yeah, great posability, lots of options there. Uh, the main, the main thrust of what I have here is Star Wars because the time, during the time we were off, Star Wars Celebration took place in, An in Anaheim, California, and they showed off a lot of stuff. Um, you know, we talked about, they, they showed the one Obi-Wan figure when the, uh, series debuted. And we kind of wondered where the rest of them were. Yeah. The first thing they showed off was three of the third, or yeah, the third sister, Reva, in all the different lines in the retro line, the three and three quarter inch vintage and the black series. And there's just another shot of it. This yeah, was this I want all those vintage, those three and three quarter inches, the small ones. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And this this sort of hit before all the news came out of uh, celebration, so that's what we get to next. Well, first first of all, this was this was not this was a Target exclusive. Um, Tibetan Station Obi Wan. Oh, that's another thing. Uh, not to <laughs> bash Obi Wan again, because again, I liked it, but that was the other thing that we were all noting was. He looked so much like a Jedi everywhere he was going. He was yeah. he, was, he wasn't trying to not look like a Jedi. <laughs> I know what you mean. You know, you would know? have thought the first thing he would have done was shave his face and well, maybe not wear that cloak and have the hood up and right. stuff. You know, the brown cloak, <laughs> the, the symbol of all Jedi. You know. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah, I hear where you're coming from, and I don't. This, this blue is a little blue, a little too blue, I think. I don't know. Yeah, I don't remember it being that way either, but it still looks cool. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, a new Darth Vader. 
to go in the Obi Wan line. Uh, these this is Black Series, six inch, um, and th there because there was so much, I just kind of took shots off of Pulse's website. And you know, like I said, the Target one's the exclusive one. The rest of these should be available at retail, Walmart, Target, Amazon. You know, I've made a I've made a joke a bunch of times about Darth Vader figures too, because obviously you can have a million Han, Luke, Obi Wan, all that. You know, because there's been so many different looks over the years. But you know, for me, it's always like you know, I I've said before, I'm not much of a Vader fan to begin with. But I mean, how many Vader figures can he have? They all look the same. Yeah. You know? They do look the same to me too. But they every time they they show off a new one, they talk about. You know the skirt's a little different, or the the cape goes over the shoulders different, or he has redder lenses in his helmet. You know. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm not. I'm. Yeah. Again, it's probably well, just because I'm not a big Vader fan. I guess if you're a Vader fan, you you care about those details. I guess. I right. Know. Yeah. I mean, Chewie's the same. He he has the same outfit every time. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. That's another one I was gonna say that about. Yeah. <laughs> and the the Chewie there is. Uh, in the archive series, you know, it's still the black series, but they put them on cards to bring them out. Cause I, you know, it's been a while since Chewbacca came out yeah. and that's where you see the archive series. And there's a few more, you know, old Han, Grand Moff Tarkin and, uh, Bausch. That's one of my um, favorite ever action figures when I had it back in the day is Bausch. Yeah. 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 It was, yeah, I, I agree. Um, and you know, that's an actual bounty hunter too. She's like got the armor somehow. Yeah, exactly. But Bausch is an actual, yeah, uh, bounty hunter himself too, or her so I don't know if it's a male or female or whatever, but yeah. Uh, these are back to the regular box black series. Uh, who is she? The third sister, the fourth sister. I think she's fifth actually. Fifth yeah. sister. Yeah. Uh, Grief Karga and Darth Maul from the Clone Wars with his mechanical legs. Uh. I used to not like him at all, but but I've started. I don't know whether maybe it's the action figures that's changed my mind a little bit. He looks uh, cool with those mechanical leg. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, there's the Grand Inquisitor with the fat face. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Looking all tough there, but he looked like a chump during the entire show. But anyway. Uh, one of uh, the Raymond family's favorites in the middle there. We're gonna have to pick that up. Yeah. Yeah. But and the fifth, the fifth, yep. yeah, and the fifth brother. Oh, it's fifth brother. I thought he was fourth brother, but it's okay. Anyway. Maybe they're reversed. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then this, you know, I thought I wrote this down somewhere because this doesn't show it. The HasLab, if you're not familiar, is like sort of a crowd a crowdfunding effort, and okay. they, you know, they they did uh, Mando's ship. Uh, they tried to do a Rancor, and it didn't fund, so that never went through. Um, but this is their latest one. It's it's the Rivas, the third sister, FX lightsaber. And I think this is like 450 bucks, if I remember correctly. I'm like, oh, I don't I don't think it's going to make it the funding either, but we'll see. Um, so it's like Kickstarter kind of? Yes, yes, exactly. Okay. okay. I never if heard they, of it. Yeah, if they, don't, if they don't meet a certain level... It doesn't fund and go through, and then they it's like Kickstarter where they throw in incentives, you know. Mm, yeah, although I'm not sure what they could do for this for add ons and incentives. Uh, Mando's helmet, and there again is the third sister in black series form. Um, <clears throat> sorry, three and three quarter inch wandering Jedi Obi Wan. We showed the six inch a couple weeks back. Yeah, look at him, Mike. Look at that picture. Of yeah. Obi Wan, right there. That's how he's hiding. Not you know, so people don't spot him as a Jedi. Right. Yeah, he looks like uh, he looks like a Jedi. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, the Boba Fett throne room, which comes with the older, chunkier Bib Fortuna. Um, there's a lot to this. Again, there, if you're a uh, diorama type guy yeah. uh 230 bucks this is in the three and three quarter inch scale Whoa. you know only comes with bib i say only but it comes with you know all these accessories look at that yeah yeah it's kind of crazy you know uh, i've geez. i've made it 
I, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to make the show last forever, but I want to interject this story from when I was a kid, I was hanging out with my mother at her best friend's house. And, you know, this is before the internet and phones and everything. So I'm bored as heck. And I'm starting to look through her friend's magazines and she had three magazines in there that were all, uh, about thimble collecting. Remember that was a big thing back in the yeah. day. Yep. And I was like, so dumbfounded that not only are there that many people collecting thimbles, but there, there'd be three magazines, different, <laughs> different magazines. They weren't like three months of the same, three totally different magazines of the same month. There's enough collectors that rate having three magazines in uh, circulation of that hobby. Yeah. And, and this is what amazes me every time I see something like this. I mean, they've got so much star Wars stuff that really that that's, that's where we are in a, in a bib fortune, throne room, <laughs> temple diorama access with all these accessories for 230 bucks. And this sells this, you know, I, I'm not being judgy to each his own, of course, but it just seems crazy to me, you know? Yeah. But like I said, I always go back to the thimbles. I'm like, well, if thimbles made it, this will too. I don't know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and here we, here we have a story in three pictures, I guess. We have, you know, there's Bib hanging out, large yeah. and in charge. Here comes Boba. <laughs> yeah. And then we have the new Daimyo of Tatooine. Yeah, uh, that, <laughs> that whole set right there can explain... How long Bib was in the series anyway? I mean, that's literally how long he was in it. Is. Of course, these fig these two figures are sold separately. You don't get those for your two hundred thirty dollars. Yeah, because cool. that would make too much sense. Uh, and and in slightly, I think I like this even better. Uh, the Star Wars movie realization line, where basically they take Star Wars and mash it up with samurai lore and design and we have the boba fett now this is the figure only they 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 did a one-off for star wars celebration where the the guy in charge of this line uh sculpted this whole throne room setup so this this is not a retail product but i just thought it looked so cool it does look cool yeah i wanted mm -hmm. to include it um a couple different shots of it there uh, and basically, you know, this is the second time Boba's been released. They're, they're taking advantage of, you know, the Book of Boba Fett and his different paint scheme. You know, um, I was going to ask you about that. Um, I need to go back and rewatch the first few episodes because I don't remember these colors. He wasn't a, as colorful, was he? I mean, yeah, it definitely seemed like he got some uh, quick distressing and wear on Tatooine between Mandalorian and book of boba fett you know yeah yeah especially like i don't remember boot, the yellow on the boots at all in the in the show in the show yeah 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 there we go that that's more accurate to what it should be apparently but yeah i don't remember it either yeah i need to go back because i really think that looks cool I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> This I just picked off because it showed a lot of the past figures. I have a few of these. I, I like have the the Boba Fett, and I have a couple Stormtroopers and Darth Vader. But um, oh, Darth Maul, uh, who I thought was really cool too, but he's not pictured here. There's all the Mandos. Oh man, what are you doing to me? <laughs> Those are great. <laughs> Those are awesome. Oh, and God. then of course they had to re-release Din with the child here. Yeah, it's just just both. Releases there. It's so a little that's cart. There. That's hilarious. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, the lone wolf and cub riff there, taken yeah. to the extreme. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I again not not uh, releasing this throne, but I just thought it looked so cool. I wanted to yeah. include it. Yeah. Um, you know, I have a lot of those prototype Boba Fetts as well. With the white, you know. Yeah. They, every time they put that out, I want it too. You know. Yeah. So. Yeah, awesome. they, they did them in this line too. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's your uh, collectibles on the horizon for this week. Oh, awesome, awesome, <clears throat> great stuff! Yeah. Every time you show me stuff that I want to buy that I don't collect, <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> well, that's our job, right? No, no, right, we're not yeah. selling this stuff for people. This is just Boy. a little education on what's available. I still you know, want to. 
the the uh, grocery bag Spider Man. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And, you know, I, I, I sort of like find myself apologizing because it's so that Hasbro puts out so much and it seems like a week goes by and they just announce so much. And uh, it seemed like I'm always doing Hasbro stuff, but uh, uh, they it all it, that reminds me, too. I wanted to correct Mike or I wanted to correct me for Mike. Real, You know, Mike's looking right at the screen of the of the McFarland page punchers that say they're three inches and I'm telling them they're four. And Mike's like. Looks like three to me, buddy. <laughs> because I don't remember. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't notice that either. I don't. Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah. Because they, they, you know, they. I thought they were just like three and three quarter, like st- the old Star Wars figures. That's sort of the standard. Yeah. And I had it written down as three, and then somewhere along the line, I, I don't know if it was because they said there was a wave of four that I wrote. I got it in my head and thought they were four inch figures, but they're three. And boy, when you, when you start comparing like a. A three and three quarter inch to a three inch that that three quarters of an inch it's a big a lot. Yeah. yeah when you get that small it's huge yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. you know if i was going to you know obviously I, I talk to tyler regularly he's totally into the black series of course if i were gonna get into something it would be these retro three and three quarters not only with star wars but also the the marvel line man i just even the characters i don't care about i want you know, yeah. I just, yeah. it's so, you know, what's the, what's the word I'm looking for? It's so sentimental to me. Yeah. You know, it's Hits that which, nostalgia bone right there. And yeah. Yeah. Go. Yeah, exactly. That's, and that's obviously what they're going for. You know, for guys sure. like us that have cash later in life and we want the stuff we couldn't have when we were kids. Right. Those jerks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. But that was great. As usual, again, thank you so much, yeah. Pat. Well, the thing is our wives don't have nostalgia bone. <laughs> right, right. Right. I can't understand, but you don't understand. I really <laughs> want this. I need it. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. 